New infantry officer. Iron Bastion, his name is. And he's an infantry officer, and he's good at the. Uh, he he's uh, he he specializes in sieging. His first skill deals damage, like most of the officers, but that gets a uh, an additional damage boost to bases and the fortifications. And his second skill gives even more boost um, to fortifications. I don't know if bases are included. And his third skill increases durability but reduces speed, which is that which I think is perfect for infantry because infantry is is really like a tank, right? It's really like a, it tanks up a lot of damage, absorbs a lot of damage, kind of like super heavy. And his fourth skill uh, increases firepower, um, and it gets an extra firepower boost uh, when. Infantries are in the bunker. So, after after he's awakened, um, his skill is pretty much the same, except uh, it, except after after those chargers are are exploded. So after after the damage is dealt by the by the skill by the first skill, um, it gives an additional uh, it deals additional damage. To the target, and all, um, all enemy units within the map grid of it. So it's an AOE. Honestly, we can beat the enemy easily, but we can't solve our own problems. I don't know if, uh, if those extra damage still has the damage boost to bases, and the fortifications. If it does, I think it, uh, it, it can make. Infantry's um, infantry trees do a lot better against bases, because right now infantry's are really are really kind of not doing anything. Like like only a only very few people uh, players have it. I like I just don't see what it should what it uh, like what its purpose on the battlefield, right? And now let's take a look at the new fighter officer. The only one who can defeat me is myself. Polar Phantom. Uh, upgrade any air, unit, uh, air force units to level 80. So and you can get this officer. And the, uh, his first skill last stands uh, every time. It's uh, it's it's fighter. His fighter gets attacked. It has a 50 chance to gain a stack, and the stack increases damage by 4%, I mean by a certain percent, for 4 seconds, and stacks up to 5 times. And the second skill increases damage dealt by fighter plane to other fighters, but reduces damage dealt by uh, to bombers. So it's a it's an officer fighting for the air control. It's like he has very good anti anti fighter skills, I think. Increases patrol speed by a certain percent while not in combat. It's not bad, but I think patrol speed isn't isn't very important. Uh, in the in the in the air fight. Except for bombers, cause like, cause like for uh, for bombers it has to chase enemy, right? Patrol speed, patrol speed. And the four scale increases fighter plane durability by ten percent. I mean by a certain percent, so it's like 10, 14, 18, 24, and thirty. It's really, it's good. Um, but he, but all his skill is for fighters, right? It's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Durability is important, especially it has to absorb damage from uh, from other like from enemy to get in those stacks. 
And after he's awakened, he gets... Uh, so after after he get he reaches five stacks, um, triggering the skill triggering the skill again, uh, deals damage to up to seven enemy uh, air units within the attack range, and can be triggered every five seconds. Um, I don't know how the how the stack works. I don't know if the stack lasts. So let's say if you get the first stack on the uh, in the first second, and you get a second a second stack on the fourth second, right? I don't know if I, I don't know after the fourth second, the first stack still counts or it it, la it only lasts for four seconds, you know? Like I don't know how I uh, like I don't know if the stack like if the um, if the countdown like reset after after he gets uh, after he gets an additional stack, we'll have to test it out. But uh, I think it's I think it's awakened skill is very powerful. Um, if it, if he can trigger it, because it's it just. I, it, it's, it's just good because this is the skill like that's it really sounds powerful well we still have to test it out though now let's take a look at the uh, the new skin they're gonna release um, mad rock uh, giving firepower power boost to all units and uh, an additional firepower boost to bombers uh, it's really not bad. Um, we can see, we can see the, you can see it, the skin is literally, it's a bomber, it's a, it's a bomber building. <laughs> it's, it's a very cool bomber building. Bomber statue. Um, so it can be only obtained by purchasing gifts. So like you have to purchase you have to purchase gifts for this I think it's like all other skins it gets it has a certain percent of chance of getting it and uh, we talked about the skin sets before so if you collect all those all those skins and you can uh, and you can have like uh, additional boosts so like now they have a, an, a new skin sets for the new skin for Mad Rock. So owning Mad Rock uh, gives firepower of all troops plus two, bomber five, firepower plus two. Wait, I saw it's, uh, it's plus five. I saw it's plus five. Is it an, an additional boost? I, I don't quite understand. Maybe it's a maybe it's a it's a display like it's a display area. I don't know. Slow as the infantry. But I, uh, I think some luggage. if you only all of it, like all of the all of the skins before, you can get a, a troop damage boost to uh, of one percent to all units. Yeah, and uh, this is everything for today. Thanks for watching. We hope. Um, Hope to uh, looking forward to making new uh, more videos for you guys about Warpath. Thank you. Bye.